Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of our Kerbal Space Program series. I am going to briefly talk about how we're going to do this, and then we're just going to get started. So the first thing is that I'm not doing this series because, you know, everybody else is doing one. I, I'm actually jumping on the bandwagon really late for this. Uh, this game is still in early access, especially on Steam. It, it notifies you that, yeah, this is an early access game. And it's been in development for quite some time, and everybody's kind of taken their time with it and done their own things however this is definitely going to be uh, something that i enjoy like i said i'm not doing this for a crazy amount of views i'm doing this because i like the game and i think i can make a really interesting and fun to watch series out of it that brings me into the next point uh this won't be like any of our other playthroughs it'll be what i call short form which is kind of more similar to the star wars uh series that we were putting out there's, the thing with this is that there's a lot of wait time in the game, so what will end up happening is if there's anything that's super boring instead of just filling with stupid commentary, which is what I would normally do, let's be honest, uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to cut and it's going to just go quick. So it'll take out all the boring parts of the video and it'll just cut to all of the stuff that you guys want to see. Don't worry, I won't cut like spaceship creating or stuff like that because that's important stuff. And then the last thing before we get started is mods, right? I have two major mods installed right now. The first is a graphics mod, uh, or technically three mods. So as you can tell, the sky dome in the background, you know, the stars, it looks really nice. Once we actually get into space, you'll see the rest and it looks awesome. The second thing is another graphics mod, which makes Kerbal look amazing, as you can see in the background, makes it look more like Earth. Uh, that makes it actually like for all of the planets. Once you're in the orbit, it kind of looks like what we are, or when, once you're in the atmosphere, it looks like what we are here on the moon, where it's it's a little low textured, but when you're outside, it makes the, the planets and the moons look amazing. So uh, that's why I installed that, because it makes it look a lot better. Plus the spacesuit on this little Kerbal here looks pretty good as well. The last mod I have installed is the third one, and it is, some of you who know this mod are going to facepalm, but let me explain myself. It is the MechJeb uh, mod, which is a, it's a targeting computer, basically. So what, uh, what I'm going to use this mod for is only one thing. It's got a lot of features in it, but I'm only going to use it for one thing, I swear, because it's kind of cheating otherwise. It's, it's basically a targeting computer that allows you to set up uh, maneuvers while in space and it even has a couple autopilot things. The only thing I'm going to use this for is docking because as many of you know who've played Kerbal before, docking takes forever to do correctly. I mean you have to match planes within space of it and then you have to match uh, trajectory and then you know orbit if it's orbiting something and then you have to get within a certain amount of meters so you can actually use your RCS and some of that those terms are just gonna go over your head if you've never seen anything from Kerbal before but don't worry we're going to do literal rocket science and with that mod specifically we will only use it for docking because it'll speed it up significantly and I don't have two hours to sit here docking which I have spent two hours trying to dock something before I have done it successfully a few times so with without the mod that is so i know i can do it i just don't want to waste time with that being said i think it's just time to start so uh, as you can see i do have a saved game that i've been playing uh for quite some time and this is going to be a career video or series and and the thing with the career stuff is if it gets updated because they're looking currently as of making this video putting in um like a currency for all of the items so everything costs stuff and then you get kind of like a reputation on your space program which will determine more money that you get and stuff like that when that gets added we'll just keep going and we'll, we'll we'll have fun with it and as we get further into the mod and we get you know closer to our our eventual goal then we'll add mods to you know make space bases and stuff so it'll be it'll be fun we'll go for as long as i want this series to go for also i made my own flag because I mean, it makes sense, right? Uh, career mode, and we are going to name this the uh, uh, Zen Anautics. Uh, not, uh, dang it, Zen Anautics Space Program. Nailed it. Uh, start. So there's a few things 
uh, about this, you have to get science points. Let me just kind of show you around real quick. You have your, this middle building is kind of where you build everything. This outer one is an observatory, so you kind of see everything. This is our planet that we start on. This is Kerbin. As you can tell, the mod makes it look nice. And then you have the moon. Once again, the moon looks pretty nice with this mod, uh, but it's kind of similar, you know, to Earth, as you might expect. However, uh, Kerbin has a second moon, which Earth does not, if you know anything about astronomy. So this moon is Minmus, and it's pretty cool, but it's on the outside. Now, here's the thing. Oh, by the way, that's the Sky Dome. It looks really good in the background there, all the stars. Really like that mod. So I'm going to zoom out here. And now we see our trajectory. So this is where we are within our solar system. So we have this, this blue line is Kerbin. Then we have Eve. Eve has its own stuff. Then you have Moho and Duna and then its moons and Jewel. Our, our final goal is to get to Elo uh, because it is actually one of the hardest ones to get to, in my opinion. Let me, let me show you what I mean. So as you can tell, most of these are on the same plane, as in it goes from one you know it's it's yeah it's even with each other there that's a good way to put it like this purple one is a little wonky and the, the brown one here is you know a little tilted but for most of it they're on the same plane elo on the other hand is on a massive plane it's it's got a huge plane difference compared to everything else so to me it's always been the hardest to get to so you kind of have to get to it on this side also because it orbits super far out over there Okay, so now that we've seen that, and you kind of get an idea of that's our, our, our eventual goal is to get to ELO and have a successful mission there and back. We also have our science. This is uh, kind of what the career mode does. You, you gain science and you can research different things as you go through and there's a little tech tree. Uh, but then you can hire people. These three people can't die. These all can, so those are all expendables. And then you have a space plane hangar, so you can make space planes as well. In our case, I do plan on downloading a few mods, and I want to make the Destiny from Stargate, or the Daedalus from Stargate, or any ship from Stargate. That's my goal. But let's do this. So first thing, uh, when making you know stuff in career mode is you need you need science points you need research so we're going to just get the pod and the first thing we're going to do is just launch just launch right what does this do well this allows us to because we're i don't know obviously not exploring our own planet here uh, outside of this the space program so we're going to do a career report it's going to get me one and a half science well then we're going to we're going to eva we're going to get out oops oops oh I, as you can tell i could kind of control it oh gosh out Thank you. I swear I'm kind of good at this game. Uh, we're going to do an EVA report. Nice. Which is going to get us some science when we recover all of this. And we're just going to get out to the dirt here. Because I don't think I could take a... Oh, I can take a surface sample here. Perfect. Nailed it. Back up to the pond. I don't actually have to go to the pond, but it makes it easier. So I don't have to jump around and recover the pond as well. I could just recover everything all at once. And there's a lot of terminology and a lot of actual, you know, rocket science that goes into this stuff. So we will, we'll go over it. Trust me. I'll, I'll make sure I keep you up to date on any terminology I'm using, like retrograde and prograde and stuff like that. Uh, also, we have seven science left and we can't buy anything else. But this did get us some fuel tanks and the decoupler, which is really important for wanting to get out of orbit. But let's do this. Let's put a fuel tank on and let's put an engine on. Pretty easy, right? Let's also put a parachute. Nice. And uh, this. Oh, come on. This. Right there. A little thing. And importance right now is balance. So we're going to just balance those out. Perfect. And you know what? Let's uh, Let's just launch because now we're going to go somewhere else on our planet, briefly. Time to explain the nav ball. So nav ball at the bottom. Uh, north is actually south on the nav ball there. You can tell by that that red dot. Uh, the nav ball is actually in three-dimensional space, so that's how it determines what's actually happening. Let's change this because I don't want my parachute launching before my engine. We have our throttle on the left-hand side, and we have the force, the G-force, on the right-hand side. And then where it says right here is how quickly we're going. So we're going to just launch. Uh, actually, you know what? First, we're going to 
observe the mystery goo. Get that, and now we're gonna launch. Well, quickly we took off. We're already going over 100 meters a second. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to go this direction. I'm not gonna try to get into orbit or anything crazy. We're just gonna get out of the area that we're currently at. Fun, right? Okay, well now that we're in the air, let's observe the mystery goo. Which will get us some more science. We'll also do a crew report. By the way, I'm not the proest of Kerbal Space Program players, so sorry, but uh, if I make a mistake or if I'm not doing things efficiently, that's because I'm just playing to have fun. For now, I'm sure you guys are going to yell at me, and in which case I will become a pro player, especially those of you who have played this game religiously for the past couple of years. So what we're going to do here is we're going to speed up time. There we go. Just warp time a little bit uh, to about when this parachute uh, is going to deploy more. It's just kind of slowing me down here. It actually deploys pretty much right here. And if you're speeding up time, it actually breaks the physics. So you want to be kind of careful with it. There we go. It's going to slow us down and we can speed up time again. And then there you have it. About to land. And the funny thing is this engine's probably just going to explode on me when it hits the ground. It always does. Yeah, that's fine. We're still good. Our our Kerbal is still alive. Come on, just ro rotate, ro ro rotate it, ro rotate it, rotate it. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 it's just... Oh, okay. Come on, it's obstructed. Idiot. You bastard. Well, now I ran out of energy. I've, <laughs> I just, I can't. I just, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he's not, he's not getting out. Okay, screw it. Uh, can we crew? No, we don't want to crew report. Let's just recover. Let's just recover and let's just go somewhere else. I, I didn't think that through, uh, but that did get us 26 signs, which allows us to come over here and get a few other things. So, uh, the first thing I am going to get, I think is the who i don't know i'm thinking that but you know what let's let's get that and the reason why is because the next thing we're gonna make is gonna go a bit further than what we've done so i'm going to throw a, another fuel tank on here oops pull this down go to structural get a decoupler put that on put this in a decoupler basically breaks it off at that point right we're going to put that there. Actually, you know what? Let's let's set this up slightly different. Uh, we're going to decouple here, and then we are going to set up there. Set these up like so. That gets us three additional spots to put more engines. Those look about right. We're gonna put engines and then another engine. And that should get us into orbit, I think. Hopefully. Okay, these engines. Okay, these are th this right here is the staging. So this is what's gonna happen every time I hit spacebar. These are gonna launch. Then this is gonna decouple. When those are done, then this engine's gonna fire. That'll decouple. And then we have that. Perfect. And if we really wanted to, just kind of like manhandle it. Well, nailed it. Perfect. And then we should land nice and gently with that. Cool. Let us, uh, we're going we're gonna to save this. Crap, I didn't mean to. Do I actually have? Okay, I don't. Good. Let's delete both of these. Yep. Delete. Delete. And we're going to name it first at. Uh, sphere probe and cancel that save launch perfect so we're going to kind of go into the or upper atmosphere a little bit my goal here is to go north right so i'm actually going to be going that way so let us turn on sas basically it's a stabilization i hit t to do that we're going to put our throttle up uh not all the way don't really need it all the way. Let's show this stage only so I can kind of see how much fuel I'm going to have. We're just going to go straight up. 
up, up and away. Look at Jebediah. He's enjoying himself down there. He is amazed. He is tripping balls. He's like, I can't believe we are actually kind of in space-ish. I mean, we're still in the atmosphere. He doesn't know that. He's he's new to the Kerbal Space Program. He's actually, uh, oh, look, there's the moon. Wow, that is really pretty. I like that. I don't think I've ever seen the moon from Kerbal before. Or Kerbin? Kerbin. I think that's the correct terminology for the planet's name. Anyways, it's time to decouple. It's time to launch our other rocket. Which is glorious. Then, let us go. Uh, that would be... That's north. Aha! I was going south on accident for a second there. Mean to go north. Which is what we're going to try to do. So I can look at the map here. It kind of shows us our trajectory. This is taking us pretty much the direction that I want to go. I kind of want to get to the North Pole, you know what I mean? So that is what we're going to do. Ish. That's what we're going to do, ish. That's, that's the current goal. We're going to run out of fuel before we get there, unfortunately. So how 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 close are we going to get? Let's bring up the nav ball on the map so I can kind of see what's going on. My fuel is about to run out. And... Boom. That was definitely not enough fuel. So you know what? Let's just decouple that sucker and let's speed up time a bit and try to get back into the atmosphere because we are just going super high. 161 meters up out of the atmosphere, which is quite a lot. You know, I think I actually could have gotten... Uh, oh, let's kill the engines. I think I could have gotten way further into the, at or at, uh, the orbit, but I think I didn't do that burn right. Once again, I'm not the best player ever. So let us... Oh, we're coming in, so are we going to burn up a bit? No? I think we're too small to. Uh, oh, there it goes. We'll take that. Also, let's put our landing gear down. And... Let's crew report. I should have done one when I was up in the air. And I could I could transmit that, but, you know, whatevs. And let's speed up time a little bit just to get to the point where this is going to deploy. Almost. There it goes. And we'll go down. And then we'll, we'll get out. We'll EVA. We'll get a surface sample from over here, wherever we're at. You see, the, you can get multiple surface samples from Kerbal or Kerbin because of the fact that there's multiple biomes and there are on all planets, there's multiple biomes so and moons. So you can get quite a bit of stuff. Pink, oh, look at that nice little landing as opposed to before. Let us review the report. Let's, you know what, let's send it because we're not gonna remove any of our science by doing it. That was added. I used pretty much all of my electricity to send that thing. We'll get another crew report. Let's. Observe the goo. And that gives us three extra science. We'll EVA. We will EVA report. And take a surface sample. And then get back in, hopefully. You can actually Oh, oh, I got my I got my head caught up. Look, Kerbals have big heads, okay? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump and oh. Man, he jumps like a midget. Ah, oh, I almost got it. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, Oh dear. Eh, eh. Huh. Oh. Oh. Get, uh, come, get up. Go. Uh. Alright, screw it. Recover. <laughs> it's gonna recover him and then I'll recover the vessel. Sometimes this will happen.